Two next, what's up? It's your boy Big Big. Welcome back to Beers Tech and Taco. So, let's talk about the bevel trimmers, the V2 trimmer head, and what you might be doing wrong when you're using them. So, this is from my personal experience. Uh, I'm not down to anybody or trying to uh, clown anybody. I'm not a professional barber. I am a DIYer, like a lot of you may be that is subscribed to this channel. So, what I've learned when using these, they're super sharp. And I had to learn it the hard way. So if you look at my beard, this side, this side, I've got a new line. But we had this right here. And I did that approximately a month and a half ago. So what was going on is I was using, um, I forgot which beard shaping tool I was using at the time. But I was using one of my beard shaping tools and I was using these trimmers, uh, the trimming head, like the B1s, which stop cutting good thanks i'm um, shout out to tristan walking this company for the new design but it started doing like this wavy cut where it wasn't cutting clean across and so i felt like i had to kind of like dig into my skin it wasn't digging it wasn't scratching but i had to kind of press in a little bit harder to get it to cut the way i wanted to to get that sharp line that i was getting when i first got them don't do that with these okay uh this actually requires a very very soft touch and uh, to demonstrate, when you're using these, it's like a lawnmower, okay? Your forearm is like the lever on the lawnmower that controls high, high or low it cuts. And if you're like, uh, uh, like that, or you're pressing in like that, you're doing too much. All right, you want to right above the skin, you see? Just barely. Just barely making contact with the skin, and they will cut. Okay, don't don't fret. You're probably like, oh man, I don't know. No, these are hitters. I got a video. I'll tag that video. I'll put a card up. Uh, put a link in the description. You'll catch it at the end of this video. But these are some hitters. All right. That is from this line. This one I had the line going straight across. That's what that's from. Now this curve is because of this tool which I'll tag in the card as well. This monstrous tool, my number one tool right now, until the Cut Buddy 2 drops, this is the number one tool I have in my stash. I'm gonna do a video on my top five tools that I have in my possession. But I use this curve right here to get this looking. Actually, I actually like it. You know, you guys know I like to make it real thin coming up, but I actually kind of like the the way this curves and it gives it that thicker look on the brow. So that works for me. But back to the bevel trimmers. And I'm sorry this is this is all around. I still got another tripod, so bear with me. Light touches. Okay. Even when you're using the edge, don't dig in. Just kinda just kinda. See they even kinda I have to be careful with that, but just kinda like you draw it. Do not do not dig in. Okay, if you're doing somebody's head, it's going to be uncomfortable for them. It's going to be uncomfortable for you. But if you get that light touch, if you haven't if you haven't played God of War or haven't seen the videos, you need to go check that out, the new God of War. So Kratos, is his favorite thing to do, his son uh, Atreus, he would call him boy, boy. This, that was his, Really, that was his first name. His first name, boy, last name, Atreus. So your forearm is boy. And you are Kratos. So you say, boy, what you would not do is destroy my beard line by going too low or too hard. Act like you got some sense. Be a warrior like I trained you to be. I, that's cheese, I know, but you have to finesse it. Get light on it and just let it do the work. I'm telling you, I do my mustache with the trimmers. And this is no blade work. I have a freehand video. Where I freehand my beard line in with just the uh, Parker SR21s. I still got them. This is not that. This is just trimmer, okay? So you can do it. Take your time. It does take practice to get the lighter touch with your hand when you're going and to teach yourself how to do it. Also, learn to become ambidextrous when you're doing your trimming. You can't try to do both sides and get a proper lineup. What you end up doing is pushing the line down further on one side and it's look crazy on this side. And so what you try to do is push it down a little bit and match it up. But then it's 
too low to this one. Next thing you know, you got this little bitty beard uh, surface area. And get your tool, start practicing, take your time, like finesse touches, and you'll come out with a better uh, trim line every time. Or you get in with that. The choice is yours. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Please continue to share this video so we can continue to gain more subscribers so I can get you guys more content that lets me know that you enjoy the content I put out. If you have any questions, put in the comments below. Peace and blessings. I say. Tube Nation, what's up? <clears throat> what's up? Boy. For I have been in control of you. We are in control of these trimmers. And our bed line looks immaculate. That's on the strength. Boy, what you would not do is mess up my perfectly good beard. Boy, what you would not do is mess up my perfectly symmetrical beard line. By pushing this darn tool too far down. Do you hear me, Atreus? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Bevel, V2 Trevors. We have been at war, but right now, I need my life to be immaculate. Yes. Boy, boy.